So I'm going to talk a little bit about the correct way, a correct procedure for pressurizing the pot and depressurizing. Depressurizing the right way is super important, uh, so we'll go over that here in just a bit. Once you got the pot loaded with water and abrasive to pressurize, you just want to make sure the blowdown valve is closed. Your inlet valve, you need to open this up. You don't just dump the valve open, you open it a little bit at a time. You just don't want to send a lot of compressed air to these parts, you know, instantly. So it's just a safety thing, just open it a little bit so you, you can go ahead and open it all the way up. At this point right now, uh, we'd be ready to squeeze the trigger and start blasting. Uh, so, but I want to go over the shutdown procedure because it's a very important part of the whole thing, probably the most important part. Uh, if you were to go and shut the compressor off, what's going to happen, you don't have any more back pressure coming up to the pot. Let's just use 100 PSI for instance. If you got 100 pounds of pressure in the vessel, it's going to try its best to get out of here however it can. Air seeking path of least resistance. It's going to try to come up this black hose. Uh, it could potentially get past this check valve. So it's very important to leave the, compress the compressor running so you have the back pressure pushing against it. And what you'll want to do is close the, the air inlet valve, then open the blowdown valve. And only when the pot is fully depressurized, that's when you go and shut the, the compressor off. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the compressor off, then we'll explain a little bit more on the depressurizing part. Going back to the depressurizing the pot uh, in the right way, um, if you were to leave pot pressure in the system, turn the compressor off, uh, what will happen just in that few seconds that it takes you to walk back from the compressor to the blowdown valve, uh, it potentially could happen. Uh, air, could, air, water, and abrasive could go up the black hose the wrong way, uh, just trying to get out as best it can or easy as it can. It could end up in this control line going to the control box, and that's what actually feeds this filter regulator on the side. It's protection for your Parker valve that's inside of here, so uh, shutting it down out of sequence could uh, cause media water, you know, things like that to get inside the Parker valve and cause it to fail. So you just want to make sure you always leave the compressor going anytime you've got pressure in the pot. Uh, always depressurize first and then turn your compressor off.